Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here in Chuckwagon MTG. Today we're cracking open a bunch of packs for our patrons. Uh, we've got a big stack of Core 20 over here along with our Build-A-Pack box. Um, but before we do that, um, one real quick thing I want to mention. Um, I am so appreciative of the uh, amount of outreach to me over the last week. Uh, since I put out last week's video kind of um, going over issues that I deal with. Um, between uh, the messages, you know, both on the video you know, and on, on Twitter and Facebook, uh, and then uh, people that private messaged me and shared their stories with me, um, first showed me that uh, uh, I am nowhere near as alone as I thought I was. Uh, there's quite a few of us that share in these... Uh, uh, ailments, if you will. Um, and I, I just want to say thank you for the support that was shown uh, over this past week. I mean, y'all are an awesome community to begin with, uh, but that just kind of put it over the top for me. So anyways, uh, let's get done with that and start cracking some packs. We're going to switch over cameras here, and we're going to start off with Adam. Brody. Adam, thank you very much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. Now, he is in our, well, what is that called? The director's board. Uh, so he gets, that's one too many, four packs here. One, two, three, four packs of standard, uh, or excuse me, of core 2020. Um, and if you're curious to know about our Discord and how, or Discord, about uh, our Patreon and how you can sign up for all this stuff, um, we've got a link down in the description. Uh, you can follow it there. we got good prices. Tells you everything you get. So for essentially for 20 bucks, he's getting these four packs, which is, that's almost 20 right there. Like if you were to buy them from a game store. And then we get to build him a pack out of the build a pack box. We're going to grab two rares, get a common or uncommon worth at least a buck or more, a random foil, and then a random foil basic, uh, which uh, shout out to Matt. Is that two? You know, if it's two, you, you get two, I guess. Uh, but real quick, shout out to Matt Harrington. Um, believe it or not, the foil basics are, are one of the harder things for me to keep in here. Um, because everybody's got like one or two they'll trade away. But then after that, um, th they're kind of hard to find, actually. Um, anyways, Matt uh, came over uh, at GP Detroit. Magic Fest Detroit, uh, with a small little stack of foil lands, uh, and he donated it to the Build-A-Pack box, so that was kind of awesome. But anyways, I'm rambling, so let's go ahead and grab 10 cards out of here. We got one, two, three, and then this is just, uh, these are commons and uncommons throughout Magic's history. Um, you never know what might be in here. There's also, like, foils that are added in, rares, and there's prize cards, like, you know, get an extra rare, extra foil, extra pack. So, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. You know, let's grab, not the last card, but the second to the last card. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got for Adam. All right, we got a Fog Walker. We got a Rosemane Centaur. Nightmare's Thirst, I like that card. Uh, Lazatop Plating, another one I like. Uh, New Horizons. We got Flames of the Raised Boar. I'm all sorts of crooked, sorry about that. Uh, we get a, got a Gateway Plaza, Slither Blade, Demir Locket, and a Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. Love me some fish. All right, let's see what we got here for the Foil Basic. We got an Ixalan Swamp. A random foil. Uh, we got a D Demir Locket. Is that two Demir Lockets you got? I think you got two Demir Lockets. You did. You had a regular and a foil. That's kind of cool. All right. Common or uncommon? Uh, victimize. No idea where this price is actually at, so if it isn't at least a dollar, we'll go ahead and replace it for you. Our first rare is Near Death Experience from uh, World Wake. All right, second rare is we got Imprisoned in the Moon. Not too shabby. All right, let's get on to cracking our packs. See what kind of cool stuff we can get here. All right, per usual, we'll skip past all of that stuff. And then we got an Uncaged Fury. This card is actually pretty nuts. 
Um, Scholar of Ages. Risen Reef. This guy right here. And then we got an a Agent of Treachery. We actually did a deck tech with this guy. That's just all sorts of fun. So, all right. Well, that's what... Oh, I'm messing stuff up here. That's pack number one. That's not a bad little pack. I mean, the Agent really isn't up there, but you can have some fun with him. Uh, and Risen Reef, if I'm not mistaken, is still the most expensive non-rare card in the set. All right. We got a Patron... Or Patron... Pattern Marcher, Air Elemental, Gauntlets of Light. We did another deck tech with this. So much fun. And then we got a, ooh, Night Pack Ambusher. That's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Alrighty. Next pack. Once again, we'll skip. We got another Pattern Matcher. We got Loaming Sh Shaman, Bloodthirsty Aerialist, and Glinthorn Buccaneer. We did get a foil, though. A foil, Captivating Gyre. Gyre? Gyre. That, that's not a half-bad foil. That, that's, that's really not. Sometimes the, the, the foils are kind of hit or miss. You, know, you can tell, like, oh, man, this one's awesome. Or, like, it looks like they didn't even try. That, that one's not bad. All right, last pack. Let's see what kind of good stuff we can get here. Oh, right. We got ourselves another Uncaged Fury. Uh, God's Willing. Goblin Ringleader. Not too bad. And then we got a Shifting Ceratops. That dino. Let me tell you something. That dino unlimited is ridiculous. Sorry about that, folks. All right. Well, Adam, uh, those are your cards. Thank you very much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. I'm going to go ahead and take your cards here and put your little name tag on them because I always mess some stuff up. All right. And put it over here. All right. Next up, uh, we have Golden Bohansky. Golden, uh, he's been a patron for quite some time. Uh, and he is also in our uh, director's board. So we got four packs here. And then we build him a pack. We'll grab one, two. We got one of those and a random foil and a random foil basic. And then one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Let's see what kind of good stuff we got for Golden. We got a Sure Strike, uh, Waxing Moon. Got a Hijack. We got a Flame Wave Invoker. Uh, Scoria Elemental. Bolt Bend. Uh, we got a Lightning Talons. I thought that was foil for a second. I was like, sweet. But um, We got the Trapper. It, I'm not sure if that's Diavantin. We got the Trapper guy. Uh, ooh, Squeeze Embrace. Uh, Apocalypse there. And we got Scarab Feast. Not too shabby. All right. Our foil basic is... Uh, oh, we got a Dominaria Swamp. Foil, random foil is a brass strike. That's not too shabby. All right, coming, run, coming. We got Goblin Bushwhacker. Gotta love goblins. First rare is Gruel Spell Breaker. And then our second rare is Marshall's Anthem. That is. That looked foil for a second, too. Yeah, you know, I, I changed to. I mean, I don't know if you all can tell, but I changed the light bulbs I use um, in my uh, my recording lights. So it's it's making a lot of them look like they're foil. But anywho, all right, let's see what Golden has in his packs. All right, we'll skip past all this. We've got a Howling Giant. We've got Fry. Hardcover, and we got, hey, look at that. First Mythic, Vivian 
Arc Bow Ranger. And then, what do we do? I thought we got a foil, but we didn't. Alrighty. Go ahead and see what we got here. Next pack, see if we can top that Vivian. We got Gruesome Scourger. That was a fun card in Limited. That really was. Uh, Molder Vine Reclamation. Scampering Scorcher. And a Planar Cleansing. Next pack here. Alright. Hey, we did. We skipped right to it. Alright, we got a... Ogre, Siegebreaker, this card was my downfall so many times. Such a good card. Uh, we got Brinehorn Cutthroat, Manifold Key, and... It... <laughs> Why not two walkers? We got a Mu Yanling Sky Dancer, and there's a foil too. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we get. It is a Steadfast Sentry. Man, tell you what, Golden's not doing half bad today. <laughs> you know, we, we typically have one patron every month that just knocks it out of the park value-wise. It, it may be Golden's turn. Although Golden has had a couple turns like that before, so... I don't know, we'll see. We got another Brineborn Cutthroat. We got Diviner's Lockbox. Yarok's Fenlurker. And we got Leyline of the Void. Well, I'll tell you what. That's not too shabby at all. That's some good stuff right there, Mr. Bohonski. Well, congratulations. I think uh, I think you got your money's worth this time. Oh, um, put the cards up there. Um, all right, next person we have is Arthur Izakar. Arthur, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, he is in the... Chuck Wagon MTG Investors here. Uh, it's only 10 bucks a month, and he gets two packs. And then we build him a pack out of the Build-A-Pack box. I love the Build-A-Pack box. I really do. It's so much fun. Two, three, four, and that guy. And then we're going to grab 10 out of here. One, two, three, four. We'll grab the last one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and finish it off. Number ten. Let's see what we got for our turn. All right, we got a garrison sergeant, uh, mind extraction, twins of Mauer Estate, a rocket disciple, and the apocalypse ones are coming out today we got skewer the critics calvary drill master frenzied arnix arnix the cat thing <laughs> psychic miasma firebolt and sharkto crab love that guy another deck tech we did that was just bonkers sharkto crab nato Check it out. All right. Our random basic. Oh, there we go. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. I love these old shooting star foil lands. Beautiful. All right. Well, that is yours, sir. We got a war flare as our random foil. Uh, we got persistent petitioners. I, I don't think this is still over a buck. If it is, awesome. Uh, but I don't think it is. So if it isn't, we're going to go ahead and replace that. Our first rare is Judith the Scourge Diva. And then we got uh, Lost Legacy. I enjoyed the heck out of that card while it was in standard. All right, first pack. Let's see what we got for Arter here. Uh, let's see, Disfigure, Master Splicer, Mask of Immolation, and... Atemsis? All seeing. Oh, and then a foil Iron Root Warlord. That's fun. Um, I don't know where value on that is, but I'm going to tell you right now 
a, a three mana creature that has a toughness of five is on par with what I would consider acceptable. A zero five that has, has some small static ability, I'm cool with that. The fact that it gets bigger that you have more creatures and that it can pump out more creatures, love this card, love it, love it, love it. Which is probably why I don't make tier one decks. But I still love it. All right, anyways, let's go ahead. We get a Wolf Rider's Saddle. I love... I bought several copies of this card in foil just because the way I love it looks. I love the way it looks in foil. So uh, we got a Bark Eyed Troll. We got another Gauntlets of Light. And then we got uh, Temple of Silence. Okay. Not too shabby. All right. Well, there you are, Arthur. Greatly appreciate you being a patron. Without you guys, uh, I really couldn't do none of this. I would be opening up a lot less product essentially so anyways go ahead and put your cards up there with your name tag and man i'm just thirsty as could be tonight i do my best to not eat or drink while doing these things but man it's just i am just so parched <laughs> anyways uh moving on next person we have is eric birch thank you very much for being a patron greatly appreciated investors tier as well so we got two packs for you I'm going to go ahead and grab two rares out of here. Common or uncommon worth at least a buck. A random foil. And then a random foil basic. We'll go third from the front. And then ten out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. How are we doing on time so far? Okay, we're not doing too bad. Not too bad. All right, let's see what we got for Eric. Another Apocalypse card. Huh. You know, I think, now that I think about it, I have put quite a few of the... Okay, never mind. I'm starting to think, like, where did all these cards... But I... I think I know. Anyways, we got Dead Ringers. Daggerback Basilisk. Uh, angelic gift uh, a f is this one okay this one really is foil a foil canyon minotaur from uh, m11 we got sworn companions knight of sorrows angel of the dawn crawl foragers centaur courser and then a scarab feast basic is ooh, uh slivers the slivers pre-con deck um and actually this is a, a card out of my personal collection uh for those of you who saw um any of my posts from gp detroit um one of the things i accomplished was i replaced all of my basic lands in my sliver deck uh that they were all foil but i got them replaced with original uh iceland arena foils um, so this was one of the last forest that was in the deck. And so when I swapped it out, I'm like, man, that's still such a pretty forest. What am I going to put it in? I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give the patrons a shout at it because I love that forest. Done rambling, I promise. Okay, we got a Shatter from M10 as our random foil. Coming around, coming worth at least a buck. We got Ancient Stirrings. I'm pretty sure that's still up there over a buck. Uh, first rare, we got, oh, we got a Mythic, a Tree of Perdition. That was fun stuff. And then we got a Stone Idol Trap. All right. Let's see what Eric got in his first pack of cards. Let's skip through that stuff there. We got a Colossus Hammer. Might of the Masses, Thought, Distortion, and then we got Bag of Holding. Um, I'm not sure where I heard it. I know just first day of GP Detroit, I heard uh, someone call it the Hag of Bolding. And that will, for me, forever be its name. That is the, the Hag of Bolding. Not sure why I found that so funny, but I really did, and I really liked it. So, All right, on to pack two. Uh, 
Ooh, Cryptic Caves. I actually just bought uh, a set of foils of these as well because, I mean, it's card draw, so it's good in EDH, and it's very pretty in foil. Anyways, then we got a Howling Giant. We got a Woodland Champion. Bought a bunch of those in foil, too. I got a ridiculous amount of foils from this particular set. There's a lot of foils I really liked. Anyways, we got a Field of the Dead. That card I am excited about. Um, I have um, an EDA, a zombie EDH deck that is just... The first one I pulled went immediately in there, so now I just need to... No, I don't need to find a foil one, because I bought one online, and it'll be here in a day or two. All right. Well, there you are, Eric. Thank you very much for being a thank you. Great. Appreciate it. Go ahead and put your name tag there. And then move on to our next person. Uh, and for those of you who uh, aren't one of the patrons in this particular video... Um, we are still doing, or we're starting up again, uh, giving away our weekly packs. So uh, that is coming up as well. But first, we have Jeffrey Peters. Thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Two packs. And, oh, and so I found this on my desk, and it has 4 9 written on it. Um, so I don't know how I didn't see this last time I sent you your package, but this is going to be included and to make sure I'm sticking it in this pile. So um, I greatly apologize for that. I have no idea how it happened. I just happened to be going through my stuff. I was actually getting ready for GP Detroit and I found that and I'm like, well, poop. I should probably take care of that. So we got one rare. We got two. Uh, we'll grab from here for the common... Or uncommon, possibly. We got the foil, the foil basic, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's see what we have for Mr. Jeffrey Peters. Uh, we have got a mind rot. Equestrian Skill, Power Stone Shard, Transgress the Mind, Molder Hulk, Daybreak Chaplain, Mirror Image, I like that card, uh, Ambitious Aetherborn, Hijack, and then we got a Jaya's Greeting. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got for our base, oh hey, we got a Foil Full Art. Uh, a Plains from Battle for Zendikar. Congratulations on that. Uh, oh, and then for your random foil, you got Laughless, the Dragon Queen. I'm pretty sure she's still a few bucks, too. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Laps of Certainty. Our first rare is uh, Life Bane Zombie. That's fun stuff. And then we got a Dire Graph Colossus, so I guess you're playing zombies. Did we get anything else zombie-ish? Eh, no. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. But those two go together. They really do. I promise. All right. Let's see what's in that first pack for Mr. Peters. All right, we got an Unchained Berserker, Risen Reef, not too shabby, Mask of Immolation, and then a Wake Root Elemental. Next pack, let's see what we got in here. We've got a Loyal Pegasus. We've got a Tombbound Lich. That's kind of on the zombie thing. Uh, Dragon Mage. And then we got a Steel Overseer. That's not too bad either. All right. Well, congratulations on all that. Not too shabby here. There's right there. And we put some name tag on it. All right. So next up. Man, I am so sorry. I need to get another drink. All right, so next up, um, I'm going to switch cameras here real quick. 
and we're going to go over to one of my favorite sites in the world, uh, which is Wheel Decide. Absolutely love it. Um, so we've got everyone's names here that commented on uh, either one of the videos I put up last week and then like one from the week before or something. There's like two or three different videos in this that I put everyone's name in because it's been kind of inactive. But anywho, we're going to go to ram.org. We're going to roll two six-sided dice. Whatever comes up, that's how many times we're going to click the wheel. We got seven. Good luck to everybody that's involved. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, and seven. Congratulations to Twilight Eve. All right. Let me go ahead and get my handy dandy little sticky notepad out. And then find one of my pens. I lost my pen. Okay. All right. So this is. And Twilight actually happens to be a. Uh, a patron so these will just kind of go out with uh with their cards so yeah all right and then so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let me, yeah okay so we're going to go down here we're going to remove twilight eve's name there it is boom all right now we're going to update the wheel and then we're going to roll these dice again and this time we got eight. We're going to click the wheel eight times. Whatever comes up, you're getting the second. Pat, good luck to everyone that's involved. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Congratulations to MTG Foil Candy. And, you know, honestly, I, I'm not sure if he actually watches the... Uh, the pack opening videos um i think he's more of one of our deck tech guys but i could be wrong could be wrong all right so we got that written out and i swear i i do know how to spell candy don't pay any attention to what that label says it, it's it spells candy i promise Whew. all right let's see what we got in twilight's eve pack here essentially you're going to get the foil mythic rare all that good stuff out of here all right so we got empyrean empyrean eagle tombbound lich salvager of ruin and then a mystic forge that thing's seen a little bit of play here right now it really is this was another one I picked up. I think I got like eight foils of this because uh, they're still relatively cheap. And man, are they beautiful. Holy cats. So beautiful. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw this in a sleeve. And we're going to put your name in it right there. And I will do my best to not forget about it on my desk for like two months. <laughs> Oh, man. I st Jeffrey, I apologize for that. I, I don't know what happened. And believe it, it's not the first time it's happened. It's just my organizational skills. My organization skills are on point. It's just my immediate desk area that I just happen to do better in chaos. That's how I work. So, I don't know. All right. We got the rapacious, rapacious dragon. We got Warden of Evil's Isle. Diamond Knight, another foil I picked up because it is beautiful. And then we got a Ley Line of Abundance. Um, we actually, one of our deck techs, our last deck tech, ran Ley Line of Abundance. And um, I believe I'm actually going to be playing this at FNM. That's how good it looks. Um, it's, I, I don't believe, it's, it's not a tier one deck, um, but it is... I, I went from, uh, I essentially stopped playing uh, ranked on MTG Arena uh, just because my mind really hasn't been there. So it's been all casual play. So I just started, I decided to start a couple days ago and I've made it to gold using um, the Headbanger Elves deck for it. So um, 
it does stuff and it it doesn't do it poorly all the time so it's not bad anyways um that's what we got yeah those are we got our packs opened um i i'm glad to be back on track for videos um our next patron video is technically uh gonna be in august um i i didn't pay attention to my calendar um, because we do our patron videos on Thursdays, um, the next Thursday, I, th I thought we still had one more Thursday in the month that I could do this, uh, and we don't, uh, Thursday is actually the first, so, um, we're going to stick with that schedule just because I got a lot in my plate right now, uh, and I don't want to try to, uh, bump up our video day, um, but then after that, we're going to get back into the next month for Patreon and everything should be back on track, uh, so, if you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor, click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the bell notification button. All three of those buttons are very, very important. It lets you know when we have new stuff coming out, and that's equally important, because then you can see all the shenanigans we do in our deck techs, and then opening cool stuff like this, and you get to win cards. So, um, aside from that, thank you very much for watching, and then you need to share this. You need to share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, Chuckwagon MTG.